Today, Runway released Access of Frames. If you're unfamiliar with Frames, it's Runway's new AI image model, and they've been working on it for a very long time. I'm super excited to have early access, and I'm just blown away by what I've seen so far. Once you're in Runway, you'll see right at the top, Introducing Frames, our most advanced base model for image generation, offering unprecedented stylistic control. Uh, before getting into the model, I always like to look at the prompting guides and see how they suggest prompting. Prompting basics, Frames prompting is designed to support a wide variety of structures, keywords, and styles, you can prompt from the following elements with frames. Subject, scene, composition, lighting, color, style, focus, angle, text, and mood. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these and use these as the basis for my prompt uh, for the first test here. You can see here, it's uh, you can do simple prompting, you can do detailed prompting. What doesn't work is talking to it like an LLM. Uh, that's kind of obvious if you've played around with Runway, that's just not how their video model works. So I assume that the, the image model would work uh, very similar. And then no negative phrasing. So not, you, you would wanna say a bald man versus a man with no hair. They have some great prompt, uh, prompt keywords here for the aesthetic styles. They break down what the keyword collection looks like um, and an example prompt um, to get that type of output. There are more styles that exist than are listed here, but you have to play around with it in order to figure it out. Uh, okay, here's some info on their pricing. It's 32 credits for four images. Um, you can explore it with unlimited plans. Uh, text is the base input, which is pretty obvious. Um, the max prompt size is 1,000 characters, and you have, I think, six uh, diff or seven different uh, aspect ratios here with the resolution as 1080p. Okay, let's jump in and, and take a look. All right, here it is. It's a session that is just like a video session, but as you can see at the top here, there's an image and a video tab. Uh, they have some examples right up front to show you what a, a prompt would look like. If you click on this image here, um, it'll show you how to get that output. Uh, so it's really important to learn how to prompt correctly within a new generator. For the first prompt, I'm just going to list all the elements that you can use in a prompt uh, to see if it helps us figure out how to prompt better. Um, I'm going to try it with these uh, definers and these the, the colons here, uh, and, but we can, we can kind of go from there and, and see if it actually works. Okay, for this first one, I'm just gonna try this element-based prompting. Uh, the subject is a robot from the 1980s. Uh, the scene is a robot orders a fountain drink from a walk-up fast food counter. Behind him, two women look at him flirtatiously. Composition is a wide shot of the scene. Robot on the right side of the frame, Woman, the women on the left. Uh, lighting, high key lighting with halation effects. Color, muted cinematic uh, colors. Cinematic, or style is cinematic with Kodak 35 millimeter, millimeter film. And the focus is on the robot and the women with a, a low white angle and a fun and hopeful mood. So we'll see if that works. Pretty quickly here we get our results back and that's pretty close to what I was looking for. A lot of the elements that were there, I didn't really define what the robot looked like. I just kind of said a robot from the 1980s. So I'll give it a little bit of grace there. Um, looks like, that, you know, there's some AI, AI weirdness in this, but obviously we would re-roll a bunch of different times. Uh, that one's cool, a little too futuristic for what I'm looking for. So um, I'm gonna maybe try adding one of these styles on top of it. Let's see, oh, high contrast warm. That sounds, that sounds right. Um, didn't add anything to the prompt. So maybe you just, I think you just click through, hit generate. Oh yeah, this is much closer to what I was envisioning. Wow, the women are there flirting with them. Looks like they're on, they're like behind the counter, but that that's okay. They're on the left side of the frame. This one's great. This is a little bit more retro futuristic. Um, I guess modern futuristic, uh, since retro futuristic is the 60s. I don't think that there's an editing feature uh, within this new model yet, but it took Mid Journey a very long time to to have that come out. So I'm not saying it's not gonna happen, it's just not there quite yet. Okay, this one is with uh, the aesthetic range of five. So I wanted to see, okay, that, that that almost is too far. So you can see with the higher aesthetic range all the way up, it kind of goes away from what the prompt is. Um, so let's bring it back down to three and see what that looks like. Okay, dead on. Uh, three is right in the middle. Um, it's it's very much what I'm, I was going for. Uh, definitely play around with the aesthetic range slider to test to see what your outputs are. And, I mean, look at this. I think they probably focused on diversity with uh, with this because every with every four images, 
you can see because I didn't specify the the people or what the robots look like, um, they really went diverse with it, but not overboard. Uh, but I think actually diverse, which is interesting. Um, oh, this is a cool feature that you can add a tag. Let's see what this does here. Uh, love this. Oh, love, love this. I can't type. Love this. Oh, cool. So I can pick a color. So now I can start tagging the images that I like. So let's actually try this one as a video. I'm going to change the prompt to something like the woman reach for the robot's hand in a flirtatious way. All right, let's see how that works. Oh, this is, this is so great. You can just do this all right within the same workflow. Um, you can tag them now. You can, you can give custom tags and, and, and not even just colors. You can write into the tags what you want it to look like. So um, here we go with Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. It's super fast, obviously. And our image that we just generated is now a video. We didn't even have to leave the UI. It needs work. Uh, it needs prompting work and it needs, um, we can try a different model with it, see if that works. Um, we'll do the same prompt, but you know, we know what we get with, with video generations from any company and from any model. Uh, you need multiple rerolls to get the scene right and to, to figure it out. Um, but that's not what this video is about. So I'm pretty happy with it though, um, even though it's not perfect. Okay, so let's go back to their help center, the aesthetic styles, and I'm just gonna copy their example prompt and change a few things just to save time uh, with exploration so that we can try and get some more outcomes. So um, we have the full glitchy abstract prompt here, and I'm just gonna change a woman wearing an avant-garde outfit with cascading layers of flowing fabric uh, to a cyborg woman wearing an or a bubbly avant-garde outfit. And we'll just see how that works. Everything else will leave the same. I'm gonna take off the, the style because I want it to, to just focus on uh, the prompt here for this. Okay, that's kind of what the prompt showed, the example showed. Oh, that one's great. Bubbles coming straight out of it. Um, I guess on the left here, you can go up and down to see the different outcomes. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, this one, it's got the glitch, it's got the bubbles, it's got the retro futuristic cyborg stuff. That one's like a prom dress. Um, okay, this is, this is awesome. Not a lot of errors either, but let's, let's click through here. Okay, if you click, if you click right, it takes you to the next batch of generations as opposed to the next image so that's a little confusing but we can get through it because i wasn't very specific they've they've gone and 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 made it super diverse that so that's that's really awesome so let's try the vary button here and oh it looks like it varied everything except the image that i clicked it on that's interesting um but the other outcomes are are, are pretty good and let's use this one in a video yeah, let's, I'm not going to leave the same text prompt, obviously, we'll change it, but I'll leave a couple elements here, the abstract and the glitchy cinematic. Um, so what do we want to have the woman do? So we'll have an abstract, glitchy cinematic shot of a futuristic woman. She moves in a dance-like fashion, turning towards the camera. Uh, should we say to seduce? No. Um, turning towards the camera as if flirting. Yeah. <laughs> The glitches are kind of annoying um, within there, but uh, if I was using this for a film or a video, I would probably try to do something more clean and then add gl the glitches effects later. But uh, the movement of the woman is great, but let's, uh, let's try another one. Okay, so let's try Vaporwave. Okay, pretty quick here. Uh, wow, this, <laughs> this is like exactly the style. When I was making my film Midnight Television, I could have used this so much and done so much with it. But yeah, wow, it just nailed this aesthetic. Okay, let's try one more here. Uh, this disposable film one looked pretty good. So I'm gonna just copy this prompt um, and always copy prompts just to start. Don't try to be crazy right off the bat. 
but I'm going to change a few things here. I'm going to just change the, what's happening um, in this. So I want the flash photography to be uh, taken at night of a man, uh, let's say, eating a very large corn on the cob at a uh, state fair. Um, we'll do one, aesthetic range one. Let's go to three. That's probably the one I'm going to use. And then we'll do five as well. So, okay, we come back immediately. Um, looks like the first round, people don't, AI people don't know how to eat corn, apparently, <laughs> corn on the cob. Uh, so we'll, we'll just kind of, yeah, we'll save the comments for that. Oh, that one's great. That This is, that's the shot. The, you know, the diversity of people is great. Um, that guy's great, uh, yeah. That's, this is this is the one. Looks like he grew that and won it at the fair on a disposable camera. So, um, and then th this was five. This was all the way up. That was three for the the one that I chose, and five all the way up gives you wildly different results. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Looks like a gi a giant piece of corn. I would consider that one. But this is uh, all <laughs> all over the place. Um, uh, yeah, people need to learn how to eat corn on the cob. It's it's really kind of a lost art. So there you have it. That was just a quick first look at frames. Until next time, be well, do good, and make awesome things.